Hello everyone, I'm going to do a review on this Clearview toaster made by Dash. We've been using this toaster for about a week and we really like it. Miss Fiona wants her treat. Okay, so first off, this is really well made. This is model number DVTS501. That's the first thing that I was impressed with. So some toasters can feel really lightweight and kind of cheaply made. This one does not feel that way. It's not super heavy, but it definitely feels like it's um, made very well. But the biggest thing, we've never had one with a clear view window. And this is a two slice toaster. Now, what I've noticed is it's got a different type of a heating element. It's got one heating element down there at the bottom that kind of angles up and toast the toast. So this is 1,100 watts. Here's what the bottom of it looks like. You've got some rubber gripper feet right here, but what you can take this window out to clean. So it's got a little lever here. Make sure it's nice and cooled down. But this is like a, like a tempered glass or something that you can clean. Now, you don't want to cook toast without it in there because then you're just left with this like little um, window here on the side. So you definitely want to make sure this gets installed before you cook your toast. And it just snaps in there like that. It does have a little bit of cord storage. Let's do dimensions really quick. It's about 15 and a half. And it's about eight and a half tall. And width is about six inches. So again, it just, it looks really nice. It's got a little bit of features to it. Over here, we've got a cancel button. This is where you turn. I like that that's kind of stiff, so it stays wherever you set it. If you accidentally hit it, it doesn't move. You've got bagel. I read the directions. When you do bagel, it only toasts one side. It's got reheat. So reheat is if you want to uh, warm your toast back up, or if your toast wasn't brown enough to begin with, you can use reheat. And then it's got defrost, which extends the time. So the instructions did come with this really nice picture diagram. So it shows you what one toast is all the way up to seven and kind of everywhere in between. So it's got a relatively long cord. The cord is 36 inches long and it's two prong. Okay, so I've got it plugged in. Let's see, I want you to see the, the heating elements. Okay, so there's the heating element. See how you've got one heating element along the back side, and then there's another heating element on this front side here. They're like little tubes. So instead of having the standard heating element that kind of was a wire going up and down, this is one single tube at the bottom. And then when you want to cancel it, just hit the cancel button. So this doesn't get super hot around here. Now it does right up here at the top and that metal gets super hot. Okay, so on this left side, it does have a really nice long crumb tray that comes out that catches the crumbs. And it's pretty easy to put back in. Okay, so let's make some toast. I've got it on the four setting so we can watch the toast being toasted. So I don't think this toaster is any quicker or any longer. I think it takes the, the standard amount of time that any other normal toaster would take. So it is kind of neat being able to see your toast. Okay, so it just pops up on its own. You can also use this to lift it up a little bit more. You can take your toast out. Okay, so here's what the toast looks like. Mine might be a little darker than I like. Okay, so let's look at the controls now. You gotta put it down first. Then you can select defrost. Now that's got a, a red light. And then there's also reheat. But let's try reheat now. Reheat's got a red light. And then bagel's got a red light. So they all have a little red light to let you know that you've selected it. Okay, so there's really no picture to show you. When you're doing a bagel, I got the bagel button selected. The burner towards us, so the burner right next to the window, that's the one that's, that's being used. The other one's not on. So only, so when you put a bagel in, 
it's only going to toast the side towards the window, which makes sense. That way you can watch your bagel um, being toasted instead of, so it only turns one heating element on when you select bagel. So we're very impressed with this toaster. We've enjoyed the toaster. It makes really good toast, looks nice. Again, it doesn't feel like it's cheaply made and it seems uh, like it's going to work for a while. So thanks everybody for watching.